Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, finalists are named for the 2016 Collier Trophy. Amazon will be locating their prime air hub in Kentucky, and Dyer delivers the first 2017 TBM 930. Hello, I'm Christopher C. Odom. It's February 6, 2017, and this is Airborne Unlimited. NAA reports that four aerospace projects and accomplishments were selected to compete for the auspicious 2016 Robert J. Collier Trophy. For 105 years, the Collier Trophy has been the benchmark of aerospace achievement, awarded annually for the greatest achievement in aeronautics or astronautics in America. It has been bestowed upon some of the most important projects, programs, individuals, and accomplishments in history. Past winners include the crews of Apollo 11 and Apollo 8, the Mercury 7, Scott Crossfield, Airmo Sperry, and Howard Hughes. The 2016 nominees are Blue Origin New Shepard, Boeing 737 MAX, Dassault Aviation Falcon I Combined Vision System, and U.S. Air Force 212th Rescue Squadron and 249th Airlift Squadron. Led by NAA Chairman Jim Albaugh, the selection committee will consist of leaders representing various organizations throughout aerospace. Greg Principato, Principal and CEO of NAA, will serve as the director of the selection process and is a non-voting member of the committee. The selection committee will meet on Tuesday, March 14th in Arlington, Virginia, and the winner will be announced that evening at the NAA Spring Awards dinner held at the Crystal Gateway Marriott. The formal presentation of the Collier Trophy will take place at a later date and location. Jobs, jobs, and more jobs. Aviation style, that's the upshot of the massive decision made by Amazon that will create 2,700 jobs with a $1.4 billion investment. In an announcement that could establish Kentucky as the Global Logistics Center, Governor Matt Bevan announced that Amazon, over several years, will build a $1.49 billion shipping hub to serve its fleet of prime airplanes at the Cincinnati Northern Kentucky International Airport in Hebron. Amazon Prime Air Hub will expand the company's long-standing presence in Kentucky, where already it employs more than 10,000 full-time team members at several fulfillment center locations in central and northern Kentucky. Amazon's Prime Air Hub promises to revolutionize the fulfillment industry worldwide, and Kentucky is excited to partner with them as they embark on this disruptive, transformative, and exciting venture, said Governor Bevan. The project's economic impact will add hundreds of millions of dollars annually to the state GDP. Airport board members approved a 50-year lease expandable to 900 acres of property. Additionally, CVG will invest $5 million in supporting infrastructure that will benefit the airport as a whole. Last year, Amazon entered into agreements with two carriers to lease 40 dedicated cargo airplanes to support Prime members with fast, free shipping. Today, 16 of those planes are in service for Amazon customers with more planes rolling out over time. Amazon's Prime Air Hub at CVG will support Amazon's dedicated fleet of Prime Air cargo planes by loading, unloading, and sorting packages. After the break, Dyer delivers their 2017 TBM 930. Explore No Limits Flying in the FAA Certified Sea Ray Amphibious LSA. One of the top three best-selling LSAs in the U.S., Progressive Aerodyne Sea Ray comes equipped with a Rotax engine and exhibits extraordinary handling on land, water, and in the air. Check it out at www.searay.com. Since the early days of powered flight, pilots have struggled with landing in crosswinds. In fact, crosswinds and wind gusts cause more landing accidents than fog, thunderstorms, and icing combined. That's where the Redbird X-Wind SE comes in. By placing pilots in gusty crosswind conditions for extended periods of time, the X-Wind SE gives instructors all the time they need to teach the pilot the proper techniques for landing in crosswind conditions. For more information on Redbird X-Wind SE and Redbird's entire line of flight training devices, visit www.redbirdflightsimulation.com. Build and fly with the most exciting line of kit aircraft on the market, the Sonics Aircraft B-Models. 
The B models offer more room and comfort, more fuel, more panel space, more engine choices, and the same great Sonics Aircraft flight characteristics. Learn more at sonicsaircraft.com. Welcome back. If you have a story suggestion for Airborne Unlimited Aero TV, the new AMA Drone Report, or our website or podcast, just email to news-spy at aero-news.net. Dyer has delivered the first model year 2017 TBM 930 very fast turboprop to a customer. The newly delivered TBM 930 has the Elite Package, enhanced interior, and includes the optional M safe seatbelt airbag in the torso section of the four-point seatbelts at the two cockpit seats. Features of the model year 2017 TBM 930 for passengers include a redesigned cabin with new seat cushions, headrest and armrest, along with seat fairings that are now covered with ultra-leather synthetic fabric material offering increased Longevity. Introduced in the cockpit panel is Garmin's new GTX 345 transponder configured with ADS-B incompatibility with the automatic dependent surveillance broadcast cornerstone of airspace modernization. The in function enables aircraft to receive traffic and weather information where available. Certain features that previously were options are now included on the 2017 TBM 930 version, such as a stick shaker linked with the underspeed protection system and the Flightstream 210 gateway that enables wireless connectivity for two mobile devices running the Garmin Pilot app. The Elite Package also includes Dyer's TBM Care program, covering all scheduled maintenance costs for five years or 1,000 hours, whichever comes first. Each week we share with you an online video that one of our viewers found especially entertaining. We call it our Aero Video of the Week. Final lift off. If you ever wanted to own your own little mini fighter jet but couldn't afford the fuel bill, the Archon SF-1 may be just the thing for you. Search Archon SF-1 Sport Plane in Flight Cockpit View on YouTube. After these messages, two more master instructors are announced. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. The Bristel Light Sport Aircraft is what you are looking for. The Bristel is wider than a Cirrus, faster than a Skyhawk, offers more storage than a Husky, and comes standard with Garmin Avionics. So what are you waiting for? Visit Bristel.com to find out how you can get into a Bristel today. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing a few of those other great stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Two instructors have renewed their master instructor designation in the month of January. Professional aviation educators who earned or renewed their master title during January 2017 are Joel David Weiner, Master CFI of Jacksonville, Florida, and Linda Frisch Kastner, Master Aviation Educator of Pittstown, New Jersey. The city of Oshkosh is actively looking for ways to capitalize on the aero reputation they've earned as the home of EAA and AirVenture. City leaders are now looking to expand on that reputation and attract more aviation-related businesses to the area. The city recently opened an 80-acre business park near Whitman Regional Airport, and marketing effort is underway. An ATR 72600 of the Swedish carrier BRA, former Bravens Regional, took off from Stockholm Bromo Umel, recently fueled at 45% with fossil-free used cooking oil, making the first biofuel-powered flight of an ATR aircraft. A drone pilot was arrested and charged with flying his aircraft near a California Highway Patrol helicopter engaged in a rescue operation. They were responding to a report of a person who had fallen off a cliff. When the CHP Hilo arrived, the crew says they were noticed the drone flying close by and the rescue operation was suspended temporarily. 
The drone pilot was arrested on charge of impeding a first responders at the scene of an emergency. Soul Air Technologies Corp. has announced an important product development and manufacturing collaboration with Bi Aerospace to power Bi Straddle Airnet solar electric unmanned aerial vehicles with Soul Aero's high efficiency solar cells and flexible solar modules. Bi said potential commercial mission applications for Straddle Airnet include communications relay, internet service, mapping, search and rescue, firefighting command and control, anti-poaching monitoring, and many other missions. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Now, let's get back to the rest of the news. Air Venture can't come soon enough, and we're already quite excited about plans for this year's Aviation Love Fest. But get this, astronauts from the most of the Apollo missions that put humans on the moon are expected to be at EAA AirVenture Oshkosh 2017 as the world's greatest aviation celebration commemorates the 50th anniversary of the Apollo program. The reunion is expected to be the largest gathering of Apollo astronauts at Oshkosh since the memorable 1994 Salute to Apollo program that brought together 15 of the men who were the faces of the American effort to put men on the moon. Many of the activities will be centered on Air Ventures Apollo Day on Friday, July 28th, which is highlighted by a major evening program at Theater in the Woods. Rick Larson, EAA's Vice President of Communities and Member Benefits said, this will be a rare, unforgettable gathering of the people who met the challenge of flying to the moon and safely returning, representing hundreds of thousands of individuals who contributed to its success. You may never get another opportunity to see these people in person, up close, and as you will at Oshkosh this summer. Those who have already confirmed their attendance include Frank Borman, Apollo 8, Walt Cunningham, Apollo 7, Fred Hayes, Apollo 13, Jim Lavelle, Apollo 8, Apollo 13, Al Worden, Apollo 15. Additional astronauts are expected to confirm their attendance in the coming weeks and we'll keep you updated. Well, that's our program for today. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily, Monday through Friday, with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. If you're watching us on YouTube, please subscribe. And do check us out on Facebook and Twitter. Get comprehensive, real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest in aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aerol-news.net. Keep flying. We'll see you tomorrow.